Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is spying with an Amazon Echo. Researchers at MWR Labs figured out a way to gain access to an Amazon Echo and turn it into a spying device. To do this, they need physical access to the Echo because they had to take it apart and use the debug pins on the Echo's board in order to gain access to it. Basically, using these debug pins, they're able to hook the Echo up to an external SD card. And because of the way the Echo boots, they were able to force it to boot from the SD card. This allowed them to do things like load a custom Echo firmware, and they were able to get it to U-boot and give them root access. With this root access, they figured out how the Echo software also worked. And once they did this, they were able to create software that listened to everything the Echo's microphone heard, and they would send that recording over a remote command and control channel to be recorded at a hacker computer. So in short, they could turn the Echo into a listening device. And meanwhile, by the way, Way, the Echo's normal software and function continue to work, so you may not know this would have been done to your Echo if they hacked it in this manner. Now this is very interesting IoT research. There's been many other IoT uh, attacks in the past where bad guys gain access to microphones in things like TVs, and of course the media picks up on this because it's an interesting way to implant a listening device in homes or businesses or organizations. That said, there's a major caveat to this hack. It requires physical access. You actually need to take apart the Echo, solder into it, and, and load from an external SD card reader. Now these researchers share a lot of cool technical details how they did that. They can also put the Echo uh, back so that it looks like a fresh new Echo when they're done. Nonetheless, this isn't something you're going to see criminal hackers doing. You really shouldn't worry about this. By the way, this particular hardware flaw, the way these uh, researchers access the debug pads, is only possible on the first two versions of the Amazon Echo. Apparently the latest version has had a hardware change that makes this technique impossible today. That said, if you do have original versions of the Echo, there's really nothing you can do to fix this vulnerability. Because it's a hardware design issue, it's not something the basic software update can fix. That said, again, uh, just don't let somebody in your house take apart your Echo and solder to it and you probably will be fine. Anyways, I just thought this was interesting new research. That's it for today's news. Thanks for watching.